Hello everyone, it's Jason uh, with My Ark Farms. There was something I wanted to point out this morning. Last night we came into the barn. I've been putting in 12 to 15 hour days and uh, my wife Heather's taking over a lot of the barn duties for me while I'm gone on the big produce farm. Um, she told me we had some issues last night, and I came in and checked, and had a couple goats coughing, and uh, our main doe, our oldest doe, she's only almost three, is Elixir, and Elixir had a cough, took her temperature. Now a normal goat temperature is supposed to be between 101.5 and 103.5, most commonly I see him right up around 103. Um, she had a fever last night of 105.3. She didn't eat all of her grain. That was the... So, you have to know your animals. So, we got to know that she just mouths grain down. She sucks it right up like a vacuum. Well, last night she left a half a scoop. And that's not normal. She's been laying down lately quite a bit right after milking so that was an indicator to keep an eye on her when before she would run around and chase the other goats so just so you guys know it's April coming into May you know, it's a warm season sorry again about the light try to get a better angle um, it's a really warm and cold it's, a, it's an off season for the animals so, pneumonia is going to be very common this time of year. You got to keep an eye on your animals. Uh, moisture in the air, you know, moist bedding, that can cause problems. Uh, bad ventilation, if you have bad ventilation in your barn, you have too much air flowing through, they get a draft when it's cold. It's, it's a fine line and you have to get to know what that line is. So we've been opening the door for the girls and it has been getting somewhat cold. Um, we also had a side window open for them so they could get some airflow through the barn for good ventilation. And then we got some cold nights and that might have given her just enough draft to get a chill. And once she got a chill, you know, that weakened her immune system and the moisture in the air sets in, she got a cough, but I took her temperature this morning, back down right around 103, that's good news. She's still eating the grain. So that's a good sign, say hello. Yeah, that's a good sign, we want her, she may not finish it. She may still be feeling under the weather. She'll get another shot of antibiotics tonight. Um, she'll get, or no, not tonight, tomorrow night. Every other day, every 48 hours for three consecutive is what I'm going to do. So she's already doing better this morning than she was last night. So that's good news. Um, like... Keep an eye on your animals. Sprite has a cough. I've been keeping an eye on her. And if she continues or starts to go off feed or water, she'll get it antibiotics right away. A lot of times the animals will deal with it themselves. It doesn't, it doesn't actually progress into pneumonia. But you have to watch them because in Elixir's case it did. So you guys have a great day. Keep an eye on your animals. That's why farmers stand there and just stare at their animals. One, we're impressed that we have such big animals. And two, you got to watch them when you're feeding them to know if there's any changes. And she still didn't eat all of her grain. Scratching, she's ready to get down. Feeling under the weather some, but she's her temperature has come down, which is good news. So we're going to let her off the stand and keep her moving. We're going to keep some, today we'll open the doors, it's supposed to be almost 70, so you guys have a great day. I just wanted to touch base on pneumonia, it is the season, keep an eye on your animals, it can set in quick.
Have a great day.